Hello everybody out there in YouTube land or on Facebook. It's me with another video update. I know it's been a while, but hey, I've been busy. I'm trying to get you guys updated and today I'm going to do it on two parts. Uh, one, I'm going to talk about Taekwondo because I just came back from Taekwondo Park, which was awesome. And I'm going to tell you all about it. Uh, many of you might have heard that I am no longer testing for my black belt, so what's the deal with that? And then I will do a separate video about everything else in my life that's been going on. I have a little over a month left. Time is flying and I don't even know what to do with myself. So I'll tell you all that in the second segment. But talking about coming back from Muju, which is the site of the Taekwondo Park, which is a brand new park. It's technically called Taekwondo Wan, but I'm going to call it Taekwondo Park because it's easier. Uh, Muju is near Daejeon, I guess it's the closest big city, but it's really in the middle of nowhere. Uh, brand new park opened this year, very far from Yongju. This is the first trip I did by myself. Uh, you know how passionate I am about martial arts. I didn't want to drag anybody with me and force them to, to go and look at every detail or take 10 billion pictures with me. but. I honestly think this park was so well done that even if you don't like martial arts that you would enjoy going there. So the park has different components to it. First part is this museum. It goes from early origins of Taekwondo to the different associations to the, the quest to become an uh, Olympic recognized sport to the spreading to worldwide, all that different process. Uh, the exhibits are very interactive. The uh, there's a lot of like giant screen TVs with movies. I thought it was a, a really well done museum. I had a lot of fun there. Another component of the park is this arena. Uh, like I said, they're just they're getting off the ground, but there's going to be competitions there and trainings and testings, and it's going to be a multi faceted use for this arena, but. For now, they use it for demonstrations. They have a demonstration team that puts on a performance um, twice, a, twice a day. And they do a lot of high flying, high jumping, spinning, impressive board breaks. And they do forms that are all in sync and do music and they do self defense. Uh, it was a really great show to watch. And it made me want to get out there and join them. But uh, can't do the. 360 jumps quite yet. Um, in that building they also have a theater. I did not go to that. Next door is an experience building. Now, didn't know going in there it was just for kids. Which is a disappointment because they had a lot of cool interactive exhibits there. But um, I actually went early before the place even opened and I talked to the guy and he gave me a personal tour. And he kind of let me try some of this stuff out. So basically the kids will go in there and they get the, these rainbow belts and the belts have RFID chips in them. And the chips are what starts the games. And it could be anything for, from like different lights are flashing and you have to punch or kick the lights and see how fast you can do it. Or there could be bags that you kick and they measure the present uh, pressure I mean. Or like how many you can do in a certain time. Um, one cool thing they had was this, this black room that had laser lights and kind of like you were robbing a bank, you had to crawl through the lights and I did that for a little bit. Um, if you hit the light and then an alarm goes off and you have to start over. So there's that room. Uh, I would have loved this as a kid. There is this, these different harness games where you're wearing a harness and then you run and you jump. Um, there was one where they had like these punching bags all set up and you run and you do a flying sidekick to see how many you can take out. So that was that would have been really cool if I was a kid. They had this uh, panoramic room where they have this move, 3D movie going on where you're like right in there. It, it's a sparring match and it's like you're right in there. Then you get out and you can play this video game. It's not Wii but it's, it's what is, I don't know what the name of the system is called where you use your body as a controller instead of a controller. Uh, is it, it's not Xbox, is it? I don't know. Um, but 
there was a game like that, and I played it with a guy. So it senses where your hands are and your feet and your head, and then uh, you're sparring your opponent, but you see him in cartoon form and he sees you in cartoon form, and so you're you're attacking the cartoon and not each other. But it is like a real sparring match, and we did work up a sweat, and it was like, ugh, because you went the full time. But it was a lot of fun. Um, they had some other games in there too, but obviously, I'm not a kid, so I think it's Triumph. But if I was a kid, I would have loved that portion of it the, the most. They have different programs at the park that you could do either like one day or weekends or retreats there. And they have it either from, you know, I've never done Taekwondo before, I just want to try it out, to I'm a black belt and I want more advanced techniques. So uh, a portion of the park has like, classrooms and dormitories, places that you can just stay, re relax, and train. If you want something more like meditation, they have temple-esque sceneries and a lot of like landscaping where they, they have like man-made built nature walks and nature scapes that you can just go and be zen-like. Um, the park is pretty big. You have to take a shuttle bus to get around. And at the top of the park, there's these cable cars and you can go to the observatory. And that is on top of a mountain. And it's really cool up there because you look around and it's like mountains all around. And it was a little bit foggy today, so you see like the fog and the smoke rising from the mountains, and it was pretty cool. Uh, there was nobody up there, so confession. I did uh, my form up there once, um, just to say I did my form on top of the mountain, and then I went back down. <laughs> but overall, the park was wonderful. Everything was laid out really nicely. People were so helpful. I highly recommend it. Uh, I took it took me the whole day to get there, or the whole day uh, to get through the park, and it took me a long time to get there. Uh, I was glad I was traveling by myself because uh, I definitely took a billion pictures and stopped and read every little plaque or at the museum. So it was a good time. Um, so. Switching gears to my Taekwondo training, I have been going, you know, four or five times a week, still training up, and I found out a couple weeks ago that I am no longer eligible to test for my black belt here in Korea. Um, the reason is there's a residential requirement that you have to be in the country for at least six months prior to being eligible to test, and for me, that would put me eligible to test at October and obviously I won't be here. So it is disappointing more so for the fact that you know if I came into the country and didn't know I was going to test for it and I was just training you know it would be nothing but it, the fact that you know my instructor said this is the date and he was training me for it and we had everything lined up and then comes back with this news and he even tried to petition it for me um, but it didn't work and so he feels bad about it so he's been spending a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with me and instead of gearing up for black belt training we've been doing the high-ranking forms so he's been showing me uh, I've I now know the first second third and fourth degree black belt forms and the demonstration form that he does for his students. So that's been cool. Uh, just, you know, not many instructors would do that, like spending one on one time in class with somebody, especially knowing that I'm not going to be here that much longer. Um, so I really appreciate it, and it's, it's been a blast. You know, I said that it, it's not in the cards that I, I won't get black belt in Korea because, you know, that would have been really cool. But I mean, I still have my black belt in the States, and, you know, Maybe it just wasn't meant to be. Uh, so that's my little update about Taekwondo. And I will pause here and start the next video.